now we look second problem of a beam so in this beam as you can see we have <clears throat> a beam uh, which is having support at a and e and it is acted upon by only one consolidated force of 100 kN and the different uh, there are different bending moments acting Mom bending moments are applied at these two points c and d of 60 and 50 kN meter magnitude so how to solve such type of questions so first step will be the same which is the calculation of the reactions so for calculation of reactions so these will be the VA and VE two reactions so I will use equation MA is equal to equal to or ME is equal to zero Moment, summation of moments at E point so first of all VA into 10 meter this whole 2 plus 2 4 7 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 minus 100 into 8 plus 60 plus 50 is equal to 0 why plus because uh, while calculating reactions we are taking clockwise to be positive and anti-clockwise to be negative so out of these this 100 into 8 kilonewton meter is negative because it is having a anti-clockwise moment at E so VA will come out to be 69 kilonewton then uh, using the equation summation Fy is equal to 0 VA plus VE is equal to 100 because there is only or uh, VA plus VE minus 100 is equal to 0 because there is only one y direction force and two external reactions so by substituting uh, VA here we will get VA to VE to be 31 kilonewton so simple calculation of reactions so now we have calculated reactions 69 and 31 now the second step is shear force so like we did in the previous question shear force can be calculated by moving in either direction so I am again moving from A towards E so first section I will take at A right then I will take section at just left of B and just right of B so shear force at A so shear force at A will be the sum of all the forces acting on the left hand side of this section. So this will be plus 69 kilonewton because sign conventions, these are the sign conventions for shear force which we are adopting. Left hand side upward forces are positive. Now shear force at B left. So on the left hand side if we take the section so this left means that we are taking section at just left of B right so and if we look in the backward direction then only we have one force which is 69 so there will be no change then at shear force at B right so now when I look at the right hand side of B another force is acting which is 100 kilonewton right so this will be 69 minus 100 because downward forces in left hand side are considered to be negative so minus 1 minus 31 kilonewton right now shear force at C shear force at D and shear force at E all will be same why because between B and E there is no force acting right so this will be minus 31 minus 31 minus 31 kilonewton each same values of uh, shear force at B C D E points the reason is that between point B from point B to, to E there is no force acting so there will be no shear force 
no change in shear force right so there is no effect of these two bending moments on the calculation of shear forces now we will calculate the bending moments so for calculation of bending moments first of all we are taking these sign conventions right so i will start so we know that bending moment at a and e will be zero because these are simple supports so i will just jump to bending moment at b so bending moment at b for calculating this i will take section just at b right and the value which i will get is 69 so there is only one force acting so the moment due to this force will be 138 and the sign will be what it will be positive because this will have a magnitude this will have a clockwise direction so clockwise in left hand side are taken as positive then we will calculate bending moment at c right so now uh, i will tell you one uh, aspect of this question when i am taking section at just left of c so i will again calculate here uh, bending moment at just left and just right you will see the difference so when i am taking section at just of c so the bending moment will be due to two forces right so this is my point c and section is this so behind this we have two forces 69 and 100 so bending moment due to 69 kN forces 69 into 4 positive and this 100 kN will have a anti clockwise moment on c of magnitude 100 into 2 and as in the left hand side we take anti clockwise to be negative so there is negative sign here so the bending moment at just left of c will be 76 kN meter now i will take section just right of c okay so why i am taking two sections on c for calculation of bending moments because when i have considered the left section at c we we cannot take this moment into picture because we are looking at just left so this moment has not been applied yet but when i am looking at the right hand side of the point and i am uh, when i take the section just at right hand side and i look in the backward direction then this moment is also coming into picture right so the bending moment at this will be 69 into 4 minus 100 into 2 same due to the same forces and another clockwise moment so the clockwise moment is taken positive having value 60 so this will come 136 km meter so what does this imply is that when bending moment is acting at a point on the mid on the span of the beam then at that point the same point so we are taking calculating the moment at the same point c but we will get two values because of the acting external bending moment right similarly we will adopt the same method for calculating bending moment at d by taking two sections one at the left of d and one at the right of d right so one at the left one at the right so so when we am taking section at just left of d then i will take all the moments which are acting uh, behind it so 69 into so moment due to 69 kN force on d will be 69 into 7 so 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 3 7 Minus 100 into 5, right? Now this is not a force. This is a moment. So plus 16. Sorry, plus 
so by solving this we are getting the value at d at just left plus 43 kilonewton meter now at right side of the section when i am taking the section just left then this 50 kilonewton meter moment is not coming into picture but when i am moving towards right of d then this will also get added so 69 into 7 minus 100 into 5 plus 60 plus we call this is clockwise so we are taking it to be positive so this is 93 positive kilonewton meter so i hope you understand that when we are uh, calculating uh, bending moments for such type of beam where external bending moments are acting at um, points so we have to consider two sections right so this is how we are getting the different values of bending moments and shear forces getting the shear force and bending moment values on the diagram so first I diagram, shear force diagram. So I have written here all the values which we have calculated. <clears throat> so at point A, we are getting a shear force of positive 69. At point B, on we are getting the value as minus 31. At C also, same D and E same value we are getting on all the points so this is how we join them so as there is no udl here only point load so we will use straight lines for joining these values okay so this is a straight line not so this is the shear force diagram Right. So as you can see, there is no effect of these moments. Okay. Now, the bending moment diagram. So bending moment at A is 0. Bending moment at B is 138. So let this point is 138. Then at C, we have two values at left 76 and at right also uh, positive 136 so at C first we will draw a point at to positive 76 then another is positive 136 so 136 at D also we have two values so first we have plus 43 and then we have 93 all these are positive values and at E value is 0. So now we will join these. So as again there is no UDL or UBL. So we will use only inclined lines for bending moment. So we will join from 0 to 138. Then the bending moment dropped to 76. So we will join 138 with 76. Then it again jumped up to 136 at the same point C. Then from C it dropped to 43 then from 43 to 93 and to 0 so this is the bending moment diagram for this question